The irony about me watching Manglehorn was it's what I thought I wanted for an Al Pacino movie. It's a low budget indie uh, and a character study and him playing his own age. I thought it might do for him what About Schmidt did for Jack Nicholson. But the fact is, it's just not really a success, despite the fact this is from a director who made Prince Avalanche and Joe, which I really, really like, this guy David Gordon Green. So Al Pacino plays this lonely key cutter who uh, lives alone in his grotty apartment with his cat. And there's a lot of voiceover where he talks about a long lost love of his life that he mocked up many, many years ago. Now, the problem is it's just not very enjoyable. I don't know about you, but I don't really want to watch anybody walking around a damp apartment talking to their cat, not even Al Pacino. There are a couple of scenes that almost lift it. Uh, a restaurant meal with his hotshot son, who's a money man. And I think you're meant to think he's a dick, but Al Pacino is even more unlikable, so it feels confusing. And also a staggeringly unsuccessful date with Holly Hunter, who we don't see enough of. But the fact is, the material is no good. And even though Al Pacino lifts it a little, he just doesn't lift it enough.